Tati, I'm Unique, and thanks for tuning in to my channel. Um, so today I'm back at home. I came home yesterday, but it's a new day. So today I'm back at home, and you know, first year of college is over. I'm on break, and I'm really bored. So what I decided to do was share my experience and give like advice to incoming college freshmen like this fall or something like that or if you just go into college you know and it's your first year you know um anyways so the first thing that i wanted to say was as a first year you really have to like put yourself out there and you know networking communicating telling people about yourself because i know with me i didn't go to school with a lot of people that i knew so well not really anybody that i knew pretty much you have to be willing to do things um at first like i just thought like nobody was on the same level as me not like physically and all that but like mentally because i my whole thing with the with going to school I just came there for one job. I didn't think like all that communication and stuff was like serious. Not like I know, not like as far as talking and stuff. Yes, that's important. But I mean like building relationships with people, and it, it actually is important. Number two, be confident. Um, this is a lesson learned for me because I wasn't necessarily unconfident in what I did but I was pretty much shy the first semester so when it came to like projects and talking I didn't really want to do it but I've overcome that and the reason being was I had to realize like everybody is here for the same reason so there's nothing to be intimidated by um advice number three do your assignments as soon as you have the chance ASAP ASAP because college oh my god procrastination is so real especially when you binge watching a different world or uh, Grey's Anatomy on um, Netflix or something or just watching something that you like but you just get distracted it's a lot of distractions too especially like parties and you know friends they want you to do this too Mm. don't procrastinate do them as soon as you have the chance and yeah number four balance out your your life balancing out everything is super hard but it is possible you know you have your social life with school work then working out and then if you want to work then you gotta find time to volunteer then, oh, oh my god sleep um Man, if you could do all that, I applaud you to the fullest because, uh-uh. I think my exercise was cut out, my sleep was cut out. So, them are the five factors. Sleep, social, school, work, and then, dang, what was the other one? Sleep, social, school, work, exercise. So, um, when buying your books, I would say wait. I know I didn't wait. I tried to be like, um, I was being smart about it, but at the same time, I should have waited. So, my books were originally like over $100 at the bookstore at my school, but I got all my stuff like on Amazon and then like on Chick, and it was cheaper. But when I got to the school, none of them was my books that they posted online. That made me so mad. They posted the books that I needed online. And then when I got to school, after I bought the books, they changed. Or they wasn't recent, whatever. But they like, after the first day started, then they changed. So I ended up coming out of my pocket for what I actually had to pay. Because I, I think they had upgraded the book to the second edition or whatever and then it was just like oh my i was so mad so yeah and then if you can you can order them offline like check valorabooks.com and it's some more stuff and then you have 
you have um, resources that you live with. Well, in my case, the sophomores live with freshmen sometimes. Um, so, you know, some of the sophomores that have, might have those books and they will sell them to you or they'll probably give them to you for free. You never know. Um, okay, this one. Okay, um, so <laughs> number six, watch out for a freshman's 15. I didn't believe it was true, but it is very true. Oh my goodness. I think I was like, I had to be like 140 or 150 um, going into college. I think like 148 or something. Um, and then when I got, when, till this day, I'm like, I'm like in the high 160s or 170. And what's weird about that is it really didn't come the first semester. It more so came the second semester. Like it just hit me. I don't know where it all came in once and my thighs are like big but luckily my stomach it didn't go to my stomach so I had I was pleased with that and I'm working on losing the rest of this yeah so watch out for what you eat um I know at my school the food that was mostly good was all like fried and stuff that wasn't really healthy for you. So, you know, that was what my diet consisted of on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, so this was what I was talking about earlier a little bit. If you get involved and, you know, you're asking for help and stuff for with school, you'll, you'll be better academically. Um, first semester, I was used to... Um, in high school, you know, I'm graduating with a 4.0 and higher, top 10 of my class, um, you know, and I'm used to getting straight A's, but once I got there, you know, actually in high school, like, I was lazy and I still was able to achieve this because if you know, if you do the work, then you're pretty much good in high school but here you actually got to study you actually got to work for it you actually got to ask your teacher for help go to their office hours oh my goodness and so on and so forth you got to communicate with them i ain't never communicated with no teacher unless they didn't put my grade in and i knew that i did the work but you know so here i am uh first semester I was really ashamed, but you know, I had, I passed, I, I passed all my classes first semester, but it wasn't where I wanted to be at all. I had never got a low GPA like that in my life. I had a 2.67 or 2.66, but I am glad I come to you today, let you know that the second semester I got a, I actually don't know what I got, but I know that it ranges from a 3.8 to a 4.0. Um, they're still calculating grades, but I'm up there and I'm happy. So I got involved in like two, um, I don't want to say clubs because they're not really clubs, two like committees. Um, I started going to office hours more, the learning hub, which is basically like the tutoring area at my school um what else did i do i asked my friends for help so i paid closer attention i told myself that i was going to follow this list that i made and the list that i made it was like four things the first one was to ask questions ask like three two or three questions each class um go to office hours at least two times per month um study two hours a week for each class that i have and then be actively involved like participate and stuff and it worked number eight i want to say um college you're going to meet some friends that are going to be your lifetime friends so that whole journey of making friends will be like trial and error. You're going to find out who's going to be there for you. You're going to find out whose faith, you know, 
you know, all of the stuff that you don't vibe with, you're not clicking with, you're going to find that out after like two or three weeks. Um, so what I wanted to say was, you know, friends are, they will make your college journey much easier, but pretty much anything, any journey that you're on life, you know, friends, child, tribulations, they will make your life better. So I met these, um, some of my friends in my school right now, and I'm still friends with them to this day. And, you know, we we got it close after the whole year. Before, I didn't really say, like, how my GPA affected me the first semester. I was, like, really brokenhearted and sad, and I was just, like, on the verge, like, everything is just over with. Because everything that I want to do, my GPA has to be higher than like a 3.2 or something but so my friends they helped me get through the semester you know I um so they noticed how I was acting and basically I was just like I didn't want to talk to anybody either and then they just like pulled me aside well not pulled me aside she told one of them told me to come in their room and then the other two came in there and then I walked out because I thought they was gonna say something and I'm like I'm not gonna do that but then she was like how's gonna come back I want to pray and I was like oh okay so we all prayed I said prayer we all prayed and you know I just felt more I felt like my spirit was being lifted after the prayer was finished and I just felt better and I guess like that really helped my mental process and that's what like led me to pass those classes so I thank them for that um so I can honestly say that college has opened my eyes to myself I'm um, very more much more self-aware of what I like and what's for me and what's not for me and you know how I want to live my life and how I want to be a better me I'm not saying that I changed or anything but I just these lessons has really taught me like the type of person that I actually am and you know I'm gonna stick to that and advice number 10, discounts. Ranging from like 10% to 50% on food, clothes, electronics, at Best Buy. And then if you go on Unidays, they have like a bunch of stores that have like your own link, I guess, to your discount. Because if they, they got to verify that you were in college or whatever. But yeah, so, you know, you get a lot of discounts by just showing your ID that you're in college. And, you know, sometimes I would say just like if you don't know for sure that you would get a discount at a certain store, then just flash your ID and say, you know, I'm a student. Is there a college discount or a student discount or whatever? And then they say no, they say no. But if they say yeah, then...